some of the themes uh, of the show when we look at kind of our complicated, increasingly complicated relationship with technology. A lot of these episodes um, are kind of statements that you guys were talking about before the rest of the world kind of caught up, before we had even Westworld coming out and some of these other shows that are talking about the, that weird relationship with tech. Where'd the idea come from? I'd always been a fan of shows like The Twilight Zone and Tales of the Unexpected and weird and wonderful uh, sort of one-offs that the BBC did. Um, and I was thinking, well, what is there a show we could do like that? And and if you were doing a Twilight Zone style show today, what would be the the theme that you would you would approach? And quite quickly, we realised that we could do a show where technology took the place of the supernatural. So in the Twilight Zone, there'd be, there might be an episode about a magic whistle or whatever, and it's just a magic whistle. Whereas we'd have one designed by Samsung. <laughs> <laughs> From looking at the show, and I'm sure you get asked this a lot, like. It deals with some the pretty the, a lot of the dark stuff when it when it comes to our relationship with technology. So I mean, how would you describe your personal relationship with technology? Well, I get quite cross when people say that the show is anti-technology because I don't think it is because I'm pro-technology and I, I used to be a video games journalist and I love you couldn't do this job if you hated technology because we get very involved in like the product design. That's one of my favorite bits of the show. I'm I'm I'm. I'm an optimist, I think, long term. Like, for instance, if you look at social media now, I think it's like a, a new limb that we've sprouted as a species and we're trying to work out how to use it. And at the moment, we're clumsily flailing around and knocking everything off the shelves and slapping each other around the face, and it's causing all sorts of problems. But as we gradually get more used to wielding that power, and it is a power, hopefully, we will, uh, we will be better off as a species. Uh, either that or we won't. So, I mean, I think generally, <laughs> generally, generally, I'm kind of optimistic that, that, that I take uh, an optimistic long view and a, and, a, and, a, and a terrified, worried, neurotic short term view. <laughs> Looking at uh, episodes coming down the pipeline, I don't know, you, probably, you guys probably can't get into too many details, but um, lots of material these days to pull from. Are you? Are you pulling from any current events? I mean, what's and you seem to know what's in the future with what you do. So, what's in the crystal ball that we all need to, you know, run for the hills? Oh, if we have got a crystal ball, then we are screwed <laughs> when we come to the next season. Um, uh, no, it's it's tricky at the moment because looking at the world, it's so chaotic. Um, it's 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 hard to know what to pull from. Like you, I got on the plane to come. Uh, over here, and by the time I landed, I think about five landmark news years had passed. There's a news mountain <laughs> we're creating. So, I, so at the moment, it's a very, it's a very, it's a, it's a troublesome time to be taking lessons from what's going on now. What lesson is there beyond ah? <laughs> um, <laughs>